Hey everyone! So, okay, how many times have we told you, especially during the lives, if we ever decide to go to Disney during the holiday season, like it's those last few weeks, we're in December, it never fails, it's always a last minute trip. So guess what we're doing now? We are currently packing for our trip! Yes, it is the night before our trip. We decided about a week ago, let's do it. Let's just let's just go to Disney. We have a weekend free because you know when you, as you, once Thanksgiving's over, you only have so many weekends before it's Christmas time. And this is the one that we kind of had been eyeing for a while. And then something really cool happened that we'll tell you later on in the video um, that everything the stars aligned, everything just worked. So here we are. We're going to Walt Disney World tomorrow morning. So I decided to start this vlog a little bit late, but Caleb is already packed. I got his stuff ready to go. Um, Steve is mostly packed. You can't really see because he Steve's a really good packer. He's really great at like Tetris and getting everything to fit all on one side. Um, but I am, I haven't even started my stuff yet. So as you can imagine, I'm a little stressed and you know, couple that with my travel anxiety I already have going on. <sighs> I know Mike is catching you up on things that are going around with our life, but uh, last weekend we were able to set up Christmas. So I did the tree, put the ornaments up. It definitely feels like Christmas here in the home. Okay, so it is 6.45 right now, a little after that. Um, I am all done packing. I don't believe it. Uh, as I showed you, little man was already done. I got him done right away. I'm all set. I got everything from casual clothes to sweaters. I don't know what the weather is going to be out there. I feel like I get colder than most people, but then I know also the afternoons can get really warm. So it's kind of like I kind of brought a little bit of everything. But the other thing that's really nice is that our flight tomorrow, it actually takes off an hour later. So we're going to have an extra hour in the morning, which I know I'm going to appreciate. But like today I did all the dishes. I hand washed everything. So tomorrow I can just do kind of a once over to leave. You, you want to leave your house clean, right? You don't want to come home to a messy house. But yeah, so I think we're gonna be in really good shape. So, you know, before travel, how many of you like make desserts? <laughs> so uh, we have some friends coming over here and are gonna put some stuff like packages that we have uh, being delivered over the weekend. So Mike decided to say, hey, do you mind coming over and uh, picking up our stuff? I'm gonna make you some cookies. I'm gonna make some cookies. <laughs> Such a nice <laughs> absent it's host. Holidays. It's a nice absent host, but. Yeah, so Mike is over here making cookies the night before travel. <laughs> and I like how he said, like, the house is so nice and picked up and clean. You want to you wanna come home to a clean house, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. I'll stay up and clean up. Okay, and today is the big day. It is, what? I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday. And so we are now on our way to the airport. Absolutely. Uh, we were late, as we always are. So I told Mike a certain time, knowing that he was definitely going to miss that mark. But we're going to make it to the airport with plenty of time. We'll be fine. Yeah. And we have made it. Just like that. <laughs> no effort at all was it right. to travel. It was completely easy the whole way. It was, it was actually a really, really great flight. Yeah. Caleb was awesome. Thank God for that Nintendo Switch <laughs> and Legend of Zelda. He was a happy camper for the entire flight. Yeah. No, I think we had a great trip and we are here at our favorite place. Yes. So as you know, we love our Waldorf Astoria. Uh, do you want to say hi? <laughs> Oh, he, now he's gonna be shy. Yeah. Okay. As most of you know, if you've been watching our videos for a while, this is our home away from home. We love the Waldorf Astoria, Orlando, and I can now say it. <laughs> Correctly. <laughs> There's just something about this hotel, especially this time of year. The Christmas decorations yeah. are absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know we love the restaurant, the lounges, everything. So this is always gonna be our go-to spot. For sure. And I, at the beginning of this video, I said I was gonna wait to tell you. Now I can tell you. We want to say a big thank you to Waldorf yes. because we are being hosted for this entire weekend. Thank you so much. We definitely appreciate it. And you know we're huge fans. So yes, for sure. You. But they've invited us out because tomorrow night is the big Sip and Savor event. Uh, we've been invited to that. We're going to be vlogging that and sharing that experience with all of you. We are so excited. And we're not going to share too many details right now. I think it's going to be better yeah. to show you in person. For sure. So, but real quick, we just we just walked through the door and we kind of want to show you some of the things that they've given us. So when we walked in right away, this was something you don't always see. We got a Christmas tree and I thought this was so nice. Nice little touch for the holidays. And um, I'm going to wait for Steve to open this up, but it looks like we've got a little card here for the Miller Tate family. And it looks like we've got some kind of goodie here. And then in the little kitchen area, they've given us a bottle of champagne. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they know us all too well. It's the Chandon. I love that stuff. And then I'm glad um, 
Steve is outside with Caleb right now on the balcony because this note lets us know there is a special dessert in the fridge and we can't, ch we're trying to keep it from Caleb because otherwise he won't focus on dinner. But look at this. We got some cakes in there. Oh my gosh. They're like very, very beautiful cupcakes. Those are going to be very nice with our champagne. But this is our hotel room we would enter. This is the door we entered from. And then you walk down this hallway uh, to get to the main living area. But let's take a turn right in here. And this is where our master bedroom is. And it looks like we've got two bathrooms. This is like a half bath right here. Here is um, the master bedroom. And then when you turn right, this is actually the big, the big bathroom. <laughs> Caleb's left his little Biscoff cookies there already. Um, but yeah, this is such a beautiful space. I love this hotel. Exiting out of the bedroom and we're back into the main hallway where we have our beautiful Christmas tree. This here was the kitchen. And I mean, I say kitchen, it's not really a kitchen. It's more of like a, like a big wet bar, right? Um, but we do have the fridge as you saw before. And then we've got the living area. And then this couch is a pullout. And we, when we've been here with family before, this works really nicely as like a second bedroom. Are you finding cool stuff out here? Yeah. Yeah. I found the red pool. You found the pool? Oh. Here is the pool. This is probably is this, is this your favorite pool, Caleb? Yeah, I have been to this pool before. You've been to this pool before, yeah. Not yet. Well, not on this trip, you're right. Yeah, why well, we didn't go to this hotel? So what do you think? Sweeping views of Disney. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So I can see um Spaceship Earth over there, it looks gorgeous. Spaceship Earth, you got Tower of Terror over there. Uh, Everest should be somewhere right over there. Mm -hmm. This pool, by the way, is amazing. I will link the video down below of when we actually had a cabana. We had the cabana that is right there. Um, that was such a fun day. But yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired from the yeah. flight. It's a day of traveling. <laughs> it was then, a busy airport. And we didn't eat on the plane, really. Right. So all they gave us so. was like little Biscoff cookies, Yeah. which all went to Caleb. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we're going to go downstairs to Peacock Alley and get something to eat. But before we do that, let's, because um, we almost forgot, let's open the little card from the tree. Yeah, so we got a couple of little additional treats in addition to the room. May the magic of this holiday season fill every corner of your heart and home with joy, now and always. The VIP services team, awesome. Nice. And they also provide us with this bag off to the side. And this says, kindly hang this ornament up and take it home with you as a keepsake from our family to yours. Enjoy. Oh. Oh, does it doesn't really say that? No, but it's oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, Mike's gonna love this one. Oh, that's beautiful. I love ornaments like this. It's so funny because we were just showing our tree where we have a lot of Hallmark ornaments, but I love glass ornaments. Stuff like this that looks like old fashioned. Yeah, it's That beautiful. is so pretty. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put it up. Oh, are we supposed to put it up on this tree? I thought it meant take it home and put it up on our it's tree. It's both. Oh, it did? Kindly hang up this ornament up and take it home with you. Oh. Yeah. To add to our beautiful tree. Ooh. The hotel guys might be so upset. You can't believe that one. <laughs> the hotel guys might be upset? Yeah. I think they'll be okay. They told us we could hang it up and then we can take it home when we're done. There we go. And then we have another card over here as well. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Yeah. So I did I did show off some of this stuff, but yes, they did gift us some champagne, which looks amazing. Did you show them what's in? Yes, I did. I, I, and we're not going to talk yeah, about it because exactly. of you know who. <laughs> <clears throat> Mike, Steve, and Caleb, welcome home as we embark on a new culinary journey. We want to thank you for all the love and support. We look forward to kicking off Sip and Savor with you tomorrow night. Enjoy your stay, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah. What a way to start a trip. I know, right? <laughs> Is that Cam right there? So we just sat down at Peacock Alley and I think we spotted our friend Cam over there. I think we're gonna have a little reunion. So we didn't vlog it because we were busy catching up, but yeah, that was our buddy Cam. Yeah, so <laughs> if you recall Cam Mac Adventures, uh, I met him through, you know, coming here for work and sitting at Bull and Bear. So that's where we fell in love with Bull and Bear. He's great hospitality from Cam, but apparently he's in town. He moved away to Seattle. So the odds that we right. ran into him here are just like, <laughs> yeah, very cool. So I'm very happy to catch up with him as well. But 
We're just settling in. We just ordered a, a cocktail, and uh, little man's just chilling out. So vacation mode is officially on right For now. For sure. So as I mentioned, we are in Peacock Alley, which is the lobby bar here at the Waldorf. And they've got some really good food. Here's a quick little look at their menu. As you can see, they've got some starters and salads. They've got some sandwiches. Now the filet sliders are very good, but the Waldorf Astoria signature burger is where it's at. The fried chicken sandwich is also really, really good. And on the flip side of the menu, you can see they've got some signature boards. So they got some charcuterie stuff going on. And then the truffle deviled eggs. Those are amazing. A lot of good options here. As Steve mentioned, we did get cocktails. I got my Old Faithful, my Hendrix Dry Martini with blue cheese olives. And then what did you get? So I got the, it's called the Peacock Sazerac. So I usually get this as my first drink here. It's uh, served um, completely up me, no ice cube at all whatsoever. That's the traditional way you should be doing it, but I love it. Okay, so our I, we, we ordered this as an appetizer. This is the wild mushroom flatbread. It's DOP Fontina Cream, roasted wild mushrooms, black truffle, lemon, arugula, and reggiano. It smells so good. And Caleb got the kids' cheese pizza with french fries. Oh wow, this flatbread is amazing. Yeah, it is, it's like the crust, like it's crust, right? Yeah. Pizza crust, right? Yeah. Cooked perfectly, it's got a nice little crunch, it's nice and toasted, and the black truffle is definitely coming through. Absolutely. And I knew I wanted to get this one right away because the cheese is Fontina. I love Fontina cheese. This is so delicious. I wanted to do it because of the truffle and both of those flavors are yeah. coming together very nice. And I think the lemon really goes well with the black truffle. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, we got the, the face maker here. <laughs> I'm trying to explain to him that he's got the kids cheese pizza, but I was telling him when they make pizza fancy, it's called flatbread. <laughs> He was not having it. <laughs> having it. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so how's it going? Are you relaxed? I'm like, very relaxed. It's like it's like the moment after a massage. Yeah. <laughs> so like like Mike said, the travel wasn't stressful. It's just travel. So right. like it does wear you out regardless of that. And then just being here, hanging out with no agenda. Right. We ran into our friend Cam, as we mentioned. Yeah. He came and sat down with us for a little bit, got to catch up. We've ran into a few people here, actually. So it's been like, it's like coming back home. It's yeah, we great. keep saying, this is our home <laughs> home. <laughs> but no, I'm, um, I'm loving it. Okay, so our official dinner has now shown up. This is the Waldorf Astoria Signature Burger. It's a CAB butcher blend, roasted tomato, arugula, gruyere cheese, chef sauce on a brioche bun. And then I did a little upgrade. It's usually served with kettle chips, but I did an upgrade for french fries. This looks so delicious. I've had this before. It's amazing. So this is going to be a great night. So after that delicious flatbread, it was quite decadent, a little bit heavy for me, so I wanted to go with something lighter. And this tuna tartare is totally hitting the spot. Light, crisp flavors, a little bit of spice there, which is what I like, with only the plantain chips. This is a nice, like, just way to, like, take it easy, not have such a heavy meal on that first night. My burger is awesome. Kind of like Steve said, like, I do feel like that flatbread was a little decadent. Um, so this is, like, a little bit more of that. I cut it in half, so I'm just gonna have half of it and maybe we'll take it to the room, maybe for later, I don't know, but it's delicious. Can we get faces? <laughs> As you can see, we have wrapped up. Yes. <laughs> and like I said, I looked at down the clock, I was like, it's only eight o'clock. I know, o that's it feels the, like it's like 11. It's only a two hour time change for us too, but yeah. Hey. All right, wait for it. Go for Although, go to it. some of us aren't as tired as others. Wait for us, bud. Well, you don't have a key, you can't get in. All right, so we are back in our room. Yes, and uh, <laughs> while jet lag has set in for dad and daddy, Caleb is. Maybe not for all not of us. Not so much, so. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, this is the weekend we were eyeing to come to Disney, so the fact that we were invited out by Waldorf is awesome. It just worked out perfectly. We can't thank you enough, Waldorf Astoria Orlando. We're so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.